That's Moses Clement in the blue t-shirt. He's a 15-year-old high school student in a large family of farmers. <laughs> Seeing him at play, it's hard to believe he's only recently escaped from months of constant terror. He was taken from his home by fearsome young men with wild Rasta hair, the brutal LRA, the Lord's Resistance Army, guerrilla rebels on the run from Uganda. Hiding and always on the move, they are nearly invisible in the dense jungles here, along the edges of western Equatoria, South Sudan. Killing, looting, and abducting children like 15-year-old Moses. The night they took Moses, he was woken up at gunpoint. They also grabbed Emmanuel, his younger brother. Then, the guerrillas took their cousin Wilson, 17 years old, before forcing them all into the dense forest. The LRA's leader is Joseph Kony. His delusional goal is to overthrow Uganda's government for his own, based on the Ten Commandments. For 20 years, his fighters carried out gruesome atrocities against Uganda civilians and stole tens of thousands of children to be slaves or to be trained as his soldiers. Now he's attacking here. In Moses' case, he was their prisoner for nearly four months until he finally escaped and found his family. That was just 10 days before I met him. His younger brother, Emmanuel, managed to slip away from the LRA in the night after just two weeks. They beat Moses, warning they'd kill him if he tried anything. At one point, they arrived in an LRA camp in the forest with other abducted boys. Moses was tied at the waist to two of them. And then, one day, Moses heard a helicopter. A Ugandan army unit attacked the LRA. The rebels quickly tied up Moses and the boys, but in the battle's confusion, the boys loosened each other's bonds and ran. Moses heard the LRA's bullets pinging as they fired at him. For three days, he wandered in the bush without food. Finally, he stumbled onto another Ugandan army unit. Moses has been back now for two weeks with his mother, father, and all his brothers and sisters. But they're still in crisis. They're displaced, like tens of thousands of villagers who fled from homes and fields 
for the safety of the larger towns. Moses' father, Clement, said he worries constantly about feeding his family and about their future. Why has the LRA done this, he asked, and who will bring the power to stop them? Despite all the trauma Moses has just been through, he's returned to school, haunted by memories. What is your answer now? Under Joseph Kony's twisted vision, any of these school children could be the LRAs for the taking. <laughs> this tragedy continues growing, with no clear end in sight, nearly unknown to the outside world. For Time.com, Ed Robbins, reporting from Western Equatoria State in South Sudan.